Hi guys, welcome to another painting video. Today we're going to be painting the Tetrap head, which is another head that's been modelled by Eleno Souza, which is a friend of mine on Instagram, who I've collaborated with. He does all the 3D modelling, I print and produce the heads. So without further ado, this is the Tetrap head. It's been sprayed with a grey primer and I'm going to start off by painting the entire head with a brown paint. I'm going to be using a similar method that I used when I painted the Silurian. So I'm going to be painting the base coat of the Tetrap with a quite a light orangey brown because I'm going to be using the wash method again which leaves all the highlighted areas nice and bright and it gets into all the little channels leaving them dark and shadowed it's the best way I could describe it so what you want to do is just what I'm doing here coat the entire head in this orangey browny base coat and once you've finished that base coat and let it dry or dried it with a hair dryer like I do this is what it looks like now it's a little bit patchy in places so I'd recommend giving it a second coat of the exact same colour and then we'll move on to next step and just like that I've given it a second coat Obviously it's going to take you a lot longer, as I have editing to my disposal. Now, next up we're going to add the wash. It's uh, it's called, this is the actual one, it's a Citadel Shade, a Grax Earth Shade. And we are going to apply it generously to the tip trap. So, here we go. We don't want to be too bothered about getting on the fur because the fur is going to be painted separately. So we're mainly focusing on the actual Tetrap's flesh. Because the Tetrap's fur is actually like a dark brown with some grey strands and specifically more grey on the sort of the afro on its head. It's a good job I watched Time of the Rani quite recently. And I thoroughly enjoyed it actually. Yeah. I'm putting it in the hair up here just uh i don't know why actually it's a bit of a bit of a waste i guess yeah i'm not even painting the right area this is the actual fleshy parts here and we'll put a we'll wash it on the ears as well it goes on nicely to these sort of these flatter surfaces You'll see when it dries, it'll create a very organic-y sort of pattern. And with these these kinds of heads, we want them to be as natural and organic looking as possible. So, I'm going to finish this and dry it with the hairdryer. And then we'll move on to the next step. And that's what it looks like dry. Just gives the flesh some definition and darkens the skin tone ever so slightly. So now we want to paint a brown into all the, or onto all the fur, the area where his fur is. Now this brown might be a little bit too light because the tetra fur is actually quite dark. But what I may do is I may paint this on and then I may use that wash, the shade wash again, but on the fur. 
and it may just darken it ever so slightly. So you're going to want to cover all the fur and then wait for that to dry. And that's what it looks like with two coats of brown on the fur, just the base coat. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and brighten up some of the flesh because it's a little bit too orangey and dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of try and dry brush over the top, but I don't really want to. I don't want to ruin what we already have, so I'm going to be very careful with where I apply this, this lighter tone. So when I was highlighting, I decided, decided I'm going to actually paint the whole fleshy area in this lighter, creamy colour. Basically because it looks pretty rubbish actually, but if I put the wash back on, it should give us the right tone. So let's see how it goes. So I became pretty fussy with this uh, skin colour, so I ended up using two different washes. I ended up using a little bit of this, um, this shade as well, because I just couldn't get the right sort of skin tone that I liked. However, I think this looks good. We'll soon find out once we start adding some detail. So I'm going to start to block out the eyes, the mouth, and do a little bit of shading on the fur. So I'm going to paint the Tetrap's eyes. Now the eyes are a green base coat. And then they have an orange iris. And of course a black pupil again similar to the silurian eyes um, they have that the vertical sorry horizontal pupil like a cat now the tetrap has four eyes one at the front and then to either side, like near the ears, and one at the back. We're now going to paint the iris. The iris is a nice bright orange. Something like that would do perfectly. And you want to repeat it on all four, once again. And the final one.
Now to finish these eyes off, we're going to put the pupil. And the pupil is, again, just a, a, like a vertical or horizontal. I get them both confused. But um, basically, just a, like a cat's eye. This is probably going to be the most fiddliest part. You need a very, very fine brush. But something like that works perfectly. Now what I'm also going to do on mine is, what I quite like doing, is putting a very fine line just around the edge of the pupil. Just so it's a little bit more prominent. And what you could also do make it stand out even more is put a line right under the the eyelid and also maybe one at the bottom just gives it a little, a little bit more depth like a bit of shadow for the next part I'm going to now paint the like this the fleshy the gums areas in the mouth I've just got a like a, a rose pink I think it's called by model color and I'm just gonna generously plonk that in there like that and uh, once I've done this, I will put a dark wash over the gums to give them some depth before then highlighting all of the little teeth. So I've jumped forward ever so slightly. I've painted in the teeth, and I've also put a little bit of red around the orange of the eyes. But now we are gonna grab a bit of dungeon gray, and we're gonna dry brush it into some of the lower fur just down here, just to catch the, the high areas. Because the Tetrap does have a mixture of brown and grey fur. Now what I'm doing is I'm just getting a bit of grey paint and then brushing it off on some tissue and then brushing it ever so lightly onto the surface so it only goes on that, the raised areas. And it's okay if it doesn't look exactly how you want it to because you can always go in with a black wash afterwards which will bring back out the details that you like. And of course on top of his head he has a lot more grey up here. be a little bit more generous at the top.
Now if you want to highlight it even more with something slightly brighter, like almost a white, again just go back over it with a white and it will bring out the, the fur even more. Now as always, I'm going to finish the head off with my signature clear gloss varnish for the eyes. Even though the Tetrap eyes probably weren't that shiny to be honest, but I feel like to give it a sense of realism, it needs to have a spot of varnish. And there we have it, the Tetrap from Time and the Rani painted to the best of my ability anyway but maybe you out there could paint it better I hope you liked this tutorial I guess and uh, hopefully it helps you if you are maybe a little bit stuck on how to paint it so thanks for watching and tune in next time where we'll be painting another head <laughs>